Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. On Love and Mirror Chance Bell, Ken came on looking like he was this good, innocent guy being played by Trish, his future fiance that was still married. And he was taking care of her and her kids after she was treated oh so horrible by her still current husband who traumatized her so bad to the point where she couldn't even bear to speak to him or have a conversation with him uh, even about getting a divorce so she could get engaged, properly engaged to the man that's doing all so much for her and her kids now. Somebody that saved her, somebody that rescued her, somebody that she is planning on spending the rest of her life with. But in reality, I believe that Ken is just as dysfunctional as Trish. Ken and Trish, they deserve each other because for the two of them to put, to be playing these little mind games with people can't be truthful about how they got together um what the circumstances of their relationship and what's going on and for them to have to lie and deflect about the situation pertaining to marcus or marquise is it tells me that they're both equally dysfunctional and they deserve each other. And for them two to be attacking Marquis on social media, it's, it's shameful. It's like Ken and Trish are doing everything but getting married. And why they can't get married? Because Trish is not in love with Ken. Because if she was in love with Ken, it would be no question. Ken would not have to continue to remind Trish about moving forward with a divorce. He would not have to keep on reminding her every single scene that he can't propose until she get divorced. That tells you Trish don't want this man. And because Trish is just using her, that's why she won't get married. She don't want, Trish does not want to be married, but it's a safe space for her to be in. Trish can use that marriage as protection as not to be able to marry Ken. She don't want to be in the marriage, but she don't want the divorce because after the divorce, now she needs to get married or get engaged so she can get ready to marry Ken. And that's not what she wants. I don't think Trish wants to be married at all, which she should not want to be married. She should not be jumping from one dysfunction to the next. So I agree. She don't need to be married, but she should at least be woman enough to be honest, honest with herself and honest with the person that is sitting there, sitting around waiting for his chance to marry her. If that's not her true intention, intentions is to marry him and she doesn't know when she'll be ready, she should at least be honest. Trish wants to play the field, in my opinion. She just, she doesn't want to be married, but I believe she wants to play the field as she was doing in her marriage, in my opinion, and how she continues to do in her relationship to Ken. And she doesn't care about anybody's feelings because if she did, then she would just be honest and let everybody know where she stands. Instead of Trish being upfront and honest to Ken, 
she's stringing him along because even though she don't want him, she still want him chasing after her and she don't want him to, uh, she, she doesn't want to get him. She doesn't want him. She doesn't want to let him go because she doesn't want him to want anybody else but her. She still wants him chasing after her. Trish is very selfish. Well, both Trish and Ken is very selfish in my opinion. Because Ken, he's no fool. Although he plays one on Love and Mary Tunsville, he knows exactly what Trish is up to. Because that's how he met Trish in her DMs. The same manner as how Trish and Martell started seeing each other. Ken, is, Ken knows exactly what Trish is up to. But because Ken has this ego because he uh because he has um you know all these muscles and he's this strong man and stuff like that he thinks that he has to protect his ego and that's why he doesn't that, that's why they are both lying about how they got together and about their timeline he acts like what people says don't phase him and the real reason, um, he, he acts like what the people says don't phase him, but I believe it does. I really believe it does. And the real reason um, why he won't leave Trish alone is because he don't want the people to know that they were right about these two. But Ken, he's not innocent. And he didn't save Trish from whatever situation her marriage was in. And I believe he played a direct part in ruining the, the last leg of Trish and Marquis' marriage. Ken just don't want the people um, to know that they were actually right. And that's why he goes along and plays this little devilish game and this little lying game that they keep getting tripped up in about their relationship the marquez interview that told a lot it told a lot about all three of them and trish and ken their response to his interview that validated exactly what marquez was stating the way they are out here speaking on his deceased dad threatening him alluding to him like a man why why they got a hit below the gutter why they got to go so deep if nothing he said was was uh, truthful? Now, I believe they knew they were busted and they tried to deflect, but, the on, but, but they only made themselves look foolish and guilty because only a guilty person would go that far and go, um, go that gutter. Trish and Ken both attacking Marquez, Marquez on social media and showing Ken hugged up with Trish and Marquez's daughter, that's an absolute F you to Marquez. And it's to me, that's the ultimate heck no. And it showed Trish true colors in that moment when she did not mind, did not say anything, or and she she's um, you know, uh cheesing at the fact that her boyfriend, not her fiance. Her boyfriend of what two years is hugged up with her daughter? No. It's bad enough that Trish is flaunting Ken around, want everybody to be okay with her being married and and respecting their relationship. But the fact that Trish is bringing her kids into the drama, that's another level of grimy. And if I was Marquez, once they put my kids in the mix, I would be at a point of no return. I will be putting every last one of their receipts out to the people. Since they want to play, we're going to play today. But y'all not going to like the game that I'm playing. And Ken, while he's caught up playing Trish game towards Marquez, he better be careful because if she was really in love, nothing would have stood in the way of her getting a divorce so she can go ahead on and get engaged and marry him. What's the holdup? You in love. 
She would have been doing everything possible to get divorced. But yet and still, she's mostly concerned about why Martel act like he don't recognize her. That was more important to her uh, figuring out a way to move forward with her divorce to get to get engaged to Ken. So they can miss me with this whole um out of this whole relationship, this whole BS relationship. And Trish, she better be careful as well. Because Ken, all this mess that she's doing, she's really learning. Um, Ken is really learning just how vindictive she really is and how far she's willing to she's willing to go against her own husband. And how much she will, how far she will go putting her kids in the mix of it. They don't have any kids together. So the games that Trish is playing with Ken, you know, towards Marquise, they could be the games that Ken wind up playing on her tomorrow. Ken around there um, playing daddy daycare to Trish kids, allowing her to treat him like a simpleton on Love and Marriage Huntsville, it's not going to end well for the both of them. They are both feeling themselves based on, you know, people being in their DMs and people, you know, shouting out, giving them kudos for their bodies. But in reality, Ken and Trish, they're not appealing at all. They are... Uh, what Mar so called them the Ken and Barbie. I don't, I don't see no Ken, no Barbie, except for Ken being named Ken. Other than that, no. It's like their characters and their need to lie. It can't be trusted, and if you can't be trusted, everything else goes out the window. It's like they can't if they can't be trusted to each other then how is other people supposed to trust them? Everything that they say out their mouth, you have to wonder, is it a lie? Because if you have to lie about the simple things, then, uh, uh, you know, like how they got together, when, talking about their timeline, I'm led to believe everything is a lie. And in my opinion, I believe they're both still seeing other people. Which is why Ken left for those three days and went to Atlanta just over an argument. You don't, you may leave the house for a couple of hours or sit in the car, do whatever you need to do, go to another room, go to the basement, but to leave your home and go all the way out of state for three days, you was big mad. You was big mad. It's like they don't have a spare bedroom. There aren't any hotels in Huntsville. And the fact that they're still over and over and arguing, I'm sorry, the fact that they're still arguing over Martel, this far out past them filming those scenes about Martel, that speaks volumes. But because Ken doesn't want anyone to know that he does feel a little insecure about Trisha Martel, he lied saying that um, that was not why they were arguing, even though Trish had already stated that was the real reason. But I get it. Ken got on that interview trying to defend um, their relationship and stuff. And he doesn't want people to know that he is actually insecure over Martel. He doesn't want it. I don't blame him. I blame nope. I don't got nothing to do with it. Um, that's like water under the bridge. So I, I get it. Never let them see you sweat. But Ken, he got on that interview trying to defend Trish and trying to defend um, their, re their relationship. But in reality, it seems like all of the defending that Ken did for his relationship and Trish, it seems like he told every reason in that defense that he needs to leave Trish alone rather than stay with her. 
He was talking about how she's bad at communication. She's a liar. She needs to work on her attitude. She's always lashing out, always starting stuff. So, and the fact that she's still married with no movement towards her divorce, it's like, why are you there? That's, I mean, if you told anybody about a person and they don't know them, and you told them all of these things, first thing they're going to say is, why are you still there? If all of this is going on, then why are you still there? He didn't give not one definitive response as to why he should stand, should still be in a relationship with Trish and why he should still want to uh, marry her. I didn't, I didn't hear nothing, not one thing that could convince me that these people should be joining in a union after she gets out of the one she's in. But like I stated, Ken defends Trish because of the way they got together. It was so wrong and they both know it. They're both shysty people. They're both liars. And if Ken calls out Trish, then he would be a hypocrite because the same things that Trish does, he does them just as well just a little bit better. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.